Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Do you have a trailer that the lights aren't working correctly? Maybe you loaned it out and the lights didn't come back working correctly, or you bought a trailer, a used one, and you can't get it to work right. Well, I'll tell you what, if you understand what the colors on these wires mean, it's more than half the battle. Stick with me and I'm gonna demystify this little trick for you. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Trailer wiring can be really confusing, but it doesn't need to be. It's actually based on a simple set of protocols. And once you understand those protocols, half of the battle is won, maybe even 90% of it. This is not a tutorial on how you wire things, butt connectors, soldering, terminals, that sort of thing. There's plenty of material out in YouTube if you need to learn those skills, but chances are you already know about that. We also assume that you know that wires are not left dangling on the undercarriage of the trailer and they need to be secured wherever you route them. One of the best places to route in a trailer is inside the tubing that trailers are made of. That's the best protection for the wiring system if you can do that. And any place that you enter or exit this kind of tubing or any metal portal, it's best to use a softening rubber grommet that's a, a widely available to stop the wire from being chafed or eventually cut. So assuming you know those skills, let's look at the next most important thing, and that is the wiring harnesses that trailers use. Now, the most common trailer harnesses you're gonna see out here are the four-way connector like this, or the seven-way connector like this and they actually are built on the same system. Let's start with the four-way connector. This vehicle came wired both with the four-wire configuration as well as the seven-wire. Your vehicle may or may not have this, and if you don't have a vehicle-mounted kit like this, you may need to install one, but that's outside the scope of this video. Okay, now we've unplugged this. We have the wiring harness from the trailer here, and you can see the different colors on here. But let's go ahead and understand what those colors are. If you look at a brand new setup right here, this is cleaner and easier to see, each of those colors have a designated purpose. Green is always for the right turn signal. Yellow is for the left turn signal. White is the ground, and brown is for the clearance lights and just regular tail lights. Once you understand those four, and there are some protocol listings that I have down in the description below, as well as some um, videos that you can go take a look at from eTrailer.com. So these four designations hold true for a four pin, and when you go to a seven, those four functions are still the same with each of the additional three conductors providing additional functions. Now, what happens if you look at yours here and we just said it's a four conductor, but we have a little bit of a problem. What's going on? We have five conductors here. Well, again, remember your colors. Yours may or may not have this kind of setup, but if you understand your colors, you're safe. White, ground, green. That's going to be your right turn signal, yellow, left turn signal. And if you look at these wires, they're actually marked green, yellow, and brown. Brown always designates the side clearance lights. This means that the tail light on the right side and the tail light on the left side will all be on right there when the tail light, excuse me, when the headlights are on on the tow vehicle. All right, let's look at the seven pin conductor. Again, the first four conductors do exactly the same thing. Green goes to the right tail light, yellow goes to the left tail light, brown does the clearance or running lights or tail lights, and white is the ground. Now, when you add the blue wire, what you're adding is electric brake or overrun brake functionality. That's what runs that for your electric brakes. The next one is the red conductor, and that is simply a 12 volt power tap that runs devices on your trailer. It might be a ventilation fan in your camper trailer, uh, some little 12 volt 
uh, power plug that's back there to charge uh, phones or other devices, but that's a power tap, usually a fused power tap back to your tow vehicle's battery. The last conductor, the purple, can serve as a couple of different functions. One, it can run your hydraulic coupling system for the trailer and the tow vehicle, or it can be utilized to run backup lights on the back of the trailer. So now you have seven conductors all built on the same protocol, nothing switches, and once you route them to the right places, you're home free. Now, what is the number one problem that happens with trailer lights? It's bad ground. If you haven't grounded the system correctly, both on the vehicle towing side as well as the trailer, and you haven't grounded that wire to clean metal and then protected it, where there is no problem with current flow through the ground, you're gonna end up with some bewildering problems where lights go on at weird times, one light's on, one's off, diagonal lights, all sorts of things. And the reason is the system is searching for ground depending whether you've got the brakes on or not. So make sure those grounds are great. When the trailer lights are properly wired, you're gonna get all the functions of the tow vehicle telegraphed right back to the trailer. For instance, your left turn signal, your right turn signal, hazard lights, and when the headlights are on, both the running lights and tail lights. Everything will work as it should. If you have any tips or techniques that you'd like to share with your fellow viewer family members, feel free to do so in the comments below. And if you'd like to be able to back up a trailer like a pro, check out this video that we made for you that shows you how to think like a trailer. And once you get this technique down, Man, you'll be showing off your trailer backing skills in no time. And check out this other video that we created for you that we think and YouTube thinks is perfect for you. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay driving around a beautifully illuminated and safe trailer.